As the largest manufacturer of trailer flooring in North America, Havco is the leading expert in trailer flooring technologies. Our customers often seek our solutions for repairing and extending the life of their flooring. Heavy loads, high frequency of load cycles, accidents and abuse can sometimes damage floorboards and trailers. Here now is your step-by-step -step guide to repair a damaged laminate floor section. Step 1. Empty the trailer and inspect the top side of the floorboards to determine broken or failed areas of boards that need repair. Step 2. Inspect the bottom side of boards around the board failure. Replace cross members that are broken, partially cracked, or have a permanent set bend of one quarter inch. Step 3. Using a square, mark straight lines on the board needing repair at the middle of the number one and number six cross members on either side of the board failure. The number one and number six cross members are the third member at the left and right sides of the broken area. Remove floor screws at six cross members on either side of the board failure. Step four, wearing a dust mask and using a circular saw, cut the board between cross members number one and number two. Similarly, cut the board between cross members number five and number six. A reciprocating saw or sawzall can be used to finish the cut at the edges of board. Remove the damaged section of board. Step five, Slightly lift sections of board A and B to release contact with cross members number one and number six and recut the board at the straight line previously marked. Step six, install a repair board of correct dimensions, thickness, width, and length in the gap between board sections A and B. Step seven, drill one quarter inch holes through the repair board and the supporting cross members. Holes should be aligned between the web and edge of each cross member. Use three screws per cross member and alternate the locations for the in-between cross members. Drill one quarter inch holes through the board sections A and B at their ends. Step eight, install five sixteenths inch floor screws at the holes new and old. Caulk the butt joint between the board sections and around the ship laps of the repair board. Step nine, if broken areas and adjacent boards need to be patched, the replacement section should be staggered by the spacing of at least one cross member at the butt joints of adjacent boards. It is best to limit the number of butt joints to one per cross member. This is how you can make your flooring investment go farther with Havco.